Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how I do my brows. I really hope you guys enjoy watching and thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you guys wanna see how to get brows like these, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. I already went ahead and did this eyebrow already and it looks pretty awesome. This is the one that I'll be doing on camera with you guys. So the first thing you wanna do when you're doing your brows is to see where you need it to start, where you need it to end, and where the arch should be. Uh, for beginners, I recommend using a um, jumbo concealer this one is from Anastasia and then there's also other ones this one is from Chella so you can get like a concealer jumbo pencil and then pretty much sketch out the start height and end of your brow just as I'm doing right here so this would be where my brow should start this should be where my brow should be arched and then this should be where my brow should end so I have a good start, arch, and ending of my brow. So once that's down, go ahead and get your brow pencil or brow shadow. There's so many different things out there. What works for me is uh, the Brow Wiz from Anastasia. I've used so many products and I always come back to this because I love how it starts off really, really light and then you can build up the intensity as you go. So I take the um, I take my brow wiz and I just groom my brows and comb it in the direction of growth. This way, it's a lot neater and I'm not misguided on how thick or thin my brows are. And then wherever there is sparseness or where there isn't a lot of color, I go ahead and fill it in. So uh, I don't have so it's kind of imbalanced right here. You can see I have a hole right here. Right here I have a little hole where it starts here and it starts here but then there's like this gap. So I'm gonna go ahead and lightly fill that gap in. And the reason why is because that's gonna create some balance and more symmetry for my brow. So I go ahead and fill that area in and I'm using very light pressure because I don't want it to come out really, really dark. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in up here because it's a bit light and I wanna intensify the color a little bit. So I'm just filling it in using very, very light pressure. And there it is. And I'm also going to fill in the tail as well as other areas that need filling. Now, once I reach this area, the front part of my brow, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a very, very small line, using very, very light pressure. And then I'm just gonna get the spoolie and I'm just gonna comb it upwards. That helps disperse the product and spread the product out so it's not concentrated in one spot so it's not distracting and your uh, brows aren't so, so dark. Once you have that, I can go ahead and highlight all around my brow just to help clean it up and give it a nice shape. Now you can do it with a jumbo pencil. You can also do it with a concealer and a brush. The pencil is super, super easy, uh, but say you want to have your brows looking sharp, crisp, and clean, I recommend using a brush and some concealer. And you wanna use a concealer that is a little bit lighter but not so bright because you don't want highlighted brows just floating around. And I also like to use my fingers to help blend the product in just so it takes away that vibrant uh, highlighted look because a lot of times that can look unnatural. Just gonna get some more of the concealer and be a little more precise too. I went ahead and cleaned off my brush and I'm going downwards to help blend it on my eye and make that brightness fade away. And just like that, now I have a little bit of a gap right here to right here, so I'm just going to, whoops, fill it in. To have control, always go in the direction of hair growth. Now that you have 
every area pretty much filled in, you wanna go ahead and grab the spoolie and just spread the product a little more just because a lot of times it can be a little too overpowering with the color. With black, with people who have like brunette brows, it's really easy to go overboard with the color and it ends up being distracting. So you always want to be sure to spread out the product with a spoolie. Okay? Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is set your brows. This is really important because our brows tend to fly, especially if you have longer pieces of hair. So if you want to tame them and groom them, use your brow gel. I'm using Hot Makeup uh, Brow Gel. It's in Brunette. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I really hope you guys learned a few things and liked this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.